What room in your house do you think has more germs? And we're talking about, I wanna be clear, we're talking about potentially dangerous germs. We're not talking about the good germs that live on and around us. The bathroom or the, the kitchen, which one has? Oh. Yes, They're it's so the smart. kitchen, think about that. Where we prepare all our food and where we're constantly eating. That's where a lot of those germs, the dangerous ones are hiding. One recent study revealed even your dish towels could be dangerous. Researchers from the University of Mauritius conducted a study suggesting dish towels actually may be the culprit that leads to some cases of food poisoning. They tested 100 towels after a month of use, found bacterial growth on 49 of them, mm -hmm. and more than a third tested positive for coliforms. Those are the bacteria that you tend to find in feces. And yeah, and it's really easy, even if you're trying to be clean. You think about it, you wash your hands, you may unintentionally touch the towel, or maybe somebody else did something with a towel and you didn't see them do it, and so now you use the same dish towel. It's, it's easy to spread those germs around. And so I think it's something just to be conscious of. I don't think you need to freak out about this, but we did ask 10 of our staff members to turn over their towels. We sent them for testing at ABC Labs. The results are in. All right, staff members, you know who you are, all 10 of you. Mm -hmm. All of the towels had some kind of bacterial growth. Now, and that does not inherently mean anything is bad per se, but four out of 10 had E. coli. Those are potentially dangerous bacteria. Also, something known as Klebsiella pneumoniae. And these are typically and often found, like I said, in fecal matter. <laughs> I mean, but it's, that, that stuff lives all around us. And, and in an ideal world, it's okay, it's okay to not have, you don't want a sterile home. In fact, you want the opposite of a sterile home. You want your home to be diverse, full of right. good, healthy bacteria, but you do not want fecal matter right. on your Right, you don't towels. have to eat E. coli. Well, yeah, so. Yeah. So what can we do? Paper towels are an option. I do that. I, I mean, I just so, you know, one usage only and you mm -hmm. chuck it, that, that's a good alternative, or it's not a big deal. You can have multiple. You can have a set. Well, you could have one towel towels. for when you wash your hands. You could have another towel that if you are preparing something like, say, raw meat, that the minute you're done preparing that meal, that towel goes in the wash. Yep. The, the only thing with paper towels is I will say for my, my sense of Yeah, I mean, you've, if all you ever use is a paper towel and then you keep chucking, 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 it, that gets expensive and it is obviously... Not great for the environment. It's a tree, so you at least be conscious of it. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be a tree hugger right now. Not afraid. I'll... Well, I, but I'm, next time I see that, I use that paper, roll of pa I'm, that paper I, towels, I'm going to give it a give hug. Give it a like, hug, like, like I'm hugging a tree. There you go. And just look, have a replacement towel ready if you think the one that you have yes. is potentially yeah. germy. Throw it in the wash.